Hi, my name is Dina Ingley and I play Penny in the web series Penny Palabras. Penny Palabras is a teenage girl who can see ghosts and spirits. She messes around with magic, gets in a bit over her head, and is now haunted by the mysterious straw man. I didn't see the casting call. I had a friend of mine um, let me know that there was this cool audition and he thought um, I would really enjoy the part. So I bought the comic like like 10 minutes after he sent me this text and I just binged the whole thing that night. Um, and I personally am very into number one web comics and number two I love um, any kind of supernatural kind of thing and what I really liked about Penny Palabras was it wasn't really something I'd seen before. Um, I feel like some supernatural comics kind of go in a moderately formulaic way in that it might have character like monsters that you already know about or it might have a plot that is like pretty conventional. What I really liked about Penny was it had new like a new concept of monster and a new concept of um, the interaction between like the normal world and a supernatural world. And I also just, I really enjoyed the art style. The bla black and white comic is really hard to make and it was really, it was an interesting mood. So it really, I, I, I read the comic and I was immediately like, yes, I would love Penny. I love her, I love her story, I love her journey. The series kind of starts off with the fact that recently she's been bothered by this like malevolent spirit called the straw man um, who kind of keeps her up bothers her, makes weird threats, um, and in general just kind of like upends her life to the point where she's getting kind of desperate to stop him um, because he is increasingly getting more malicious towards others. So she can tolerate it when it's about herself, but he starts kind of moving out into the rest of her circle. challenges is I've been trying a frustration of mine is when I read the comic when I read the script the first time I know it'd be very easy to make her just like really sullen really like depressed really kind of like if you would like if you could call it that like kind of emo and I like really didn't want that to make that penny because I feel like she was really trying to have a normal functional like I'm fine I have friends I want to have a good life um, and then things happen to her and I think, like I said before, it's kind of like a journey to try and gain back some semblance of a normal life. Um, so I th that, was, that was an initial challenge, to not make her just like, I'm sad and depressed and tired, to make her like a person who is dealing with something. And I think, I mean, on a more surface level, another challenge of Penny was the crying. <laughs> because she cries a lot, and I understand that in that situation, I would be crying so much so much because I am a crybaby in like every situation um, but that was just a challenge for me as an actor just because I'm not really used to doing that. I study psychology and sociology and so I feel like I use a lot of that to kind of inform like why my character is doing stuff. Um, how certain things might have affected the character. I mean especially with Penny and her dad. Um, I've used a lot of um, both personal experience and um, psychological experience um, in terms of how she would deal with that or like what she's feeling. Um, but then in terms of actual acting, definitely the experience in France um, where I go to a conservatory, that one's really, that one was really good for me because it, it emphasized a lot of being in the moment and really just inhabiting the character instead of thinking about acting. You just like get to know the character and then you, you do what they would do. Um, and so that's kind of been a method I've used a lot. Before we even started shooting, I would spend time like when I was on airplanes or when I was on long drives and I would just sit and think about Penny. Um, and so I think that method has really helped me out a lot because it helps, it, it helps you get to know the character almost on a weird personal basis so that you can make decisions that you feel would honor the character instead of like, oh, this would be good for the scene or this would look good. It's like, well, what would the character want to do in this situation? To follow along with Penny's story, please visit facebook.com slash or you can visit the website www.pennypalabras.com. Thank you.